There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, reticium, vanadium, and anthrum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium, and gold, protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. There's yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, chromium, lithium, beryllium, and barium. There's holmium, and helium, and hafmium, and erbium, and phosphorus, and francium, and fluorine, and terbium, and manganese, and mercury, and molybdenum, and magnesium, dysprosium, and scandium, and cerium, and cesium, and lead, praseodymium, and platinum, and plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, and tantalus, tenesium, titanium, tellurium. And cadmium and calcium and chromium and curium. There's sulfur, californium and fermium and berkelium and also mendelinium, einsteinium, nobelium and argon, krypton, neon, radon, xenon, zinc and rhodium and chlorine, carbon, cobalt, copper, tungsten, tin and sodium. These are the only ones of which the news has come to Harvard and there may be many others but they haven't been discovered. Uh, I can't